kicking things off with some good old guild gacha. As well as unlocking the Rainbow Shell Gallery. One of the better shops in the game due to the abundance of Rainbow Pearls as well as a 2 day refresh cycle as opposed to the Guild and Arena shop's 3 day cycle. And on top of that, unlocks the most resourceful special episode. I was very bold in trying to jump immediately into hard mode, but luckily, Fedicini, Rebel, and Crambule are OP. On top of the catnip shop having 2 level 60 concentrates as opposed to 1, completing the mermaid still story unlocks the Tower of Frozen Waves which is an insane one time EXP source. Special episodes are honestly one of the best features from 2023 and easily the best kite up mechanic in the game. Afterwards, I went and climbed PvP. Despite having literally zero PvP specific cookies, it's still pretty easy to climb low ladder thanks to Rebel. If a cookie isn't immune to Rebel's debuffs, they literally just evaporate. So Rebel hyper offense with whatever cookies you have built ends up being a great team for sniping badly made or bait teams. Of course, my cookies aren't level 75 yet, so I still lose quite often to better develop teams. This is merely one of a few rank ups in this video. Then I went and cleared 1230, which unlocked the Cookie Odyssey. AKA the shitty special episode, like I am 45 days in, I am still in chapter 1. We got Macron cookie for day 7. I wish he was actually usable, but sure. Started the day off pushing dark mode easily. The crystals were nice, but I'm looking for the damn common soul essences. After doing my special episode stuff, I ran into a brick wall on this stupid stage. I'll let the footage speak for itself. Now I'm inching ever closer to taste your Stargilly Spy for my lab. I've been holding off on using my Stargilly since I wanted to maximize their value by waiting for a taste of Jelly 5. Soon as that lab is complete, Cruelly is going straight to the moon. After a long ass time later in the day, behold, I can finally use Star Gillies without feeling like I'm wasting something. But I'm still keeping a little bit of XP just in case. And the obligatory AOD damage check. I did 87 million damage, but I freeze framed it at the wrong time while editing, and I'm too lazy to look through the original footage to find the actual damage, so oh well. And a Sherbert jump scare today as well. well. See that snow sugar is just better. 
I also managed to get enough Chaos K pieces to get the Ominous K power. As well as finally getting past this damn stage. And completed my Castle 9 upgrade just before heading to bed. What a day. Chirita's Dark Slash Master Mode for Common Soul Essences, part 512. Rebel, Fatu, and Curly are just slightly strong in the early game in my humble opinion. Like, this shouldn't be that easy, but sure. Stage 2 Master Mode clear, but I'm not done quite yet. Now, with 100% of stars. All that, just so I can level up Puff's magic candy. And after some Tower of Sweet Chaos ads, I finally have enough to raise my first ever cookie to 75. And by a shocking twist of fate, I chose Creme Brulee as my first level 75. Absolutely unheard of new progression meta. Creme Brulee. Obligatory AOD damage check. I'm crossing the 100 million mark on day 8. Of course, I went and got the new MC cookies just for the event that required those cookies at the time. And then I fucking ran out of common soul essences again. But after more dark mode climbing, two plus ten MCs in eight days. Do I have to keep saying common soul essence? I got Snow Sugar because before the anniversary update, Snow Sugar was an insanely strong cookie for progression since they're used for budget RBD, Alliance, as well as Arena. But now, mid February, they're basically only for budget RBD. It's all worthwhile, but not as good as before. A very long Kingdom Arena segment when I'm currently Master Swan. I wonder what this montage ends with. Take a guess, just take a guess. While that's going on in the background, I just want to say that it illustrates the point of don't focus on arena in the early game. I didn't need to build cookies and waste resources just for an arena specific team. Simply just using my own bait team and hunting for other bait teams is enough to get a very formidable rank. Yeah, especially when you have people like this giving out free trophies. Well, let me just say, day 9 account. By the way, remember Tower of Sweet Chaos? It was great, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, I don't have to waste bounties on the Ominous Cake Tower. This was great. Thank you, Tusk Ads, for over tripling my daily keys. And the final damage check for day 10 concludes this episode.
No beast crits, no level 80, still 150 million damage in 10 days.